hello viewers i hope you're okay wherever you're viewing this uh, video from here for sharing uh, information and advice for anyone uh, who is considering to purchase a second hand used car you could be in the also in the process of buying the car or you are planning to buy in the future so the following uh, tips uh, will be able to help uh, you make a decision on how to check so that you don't end, end up buying a car that may force you to spend a lot of your money uh, carrying out uh, repairs on such a car uh, remember when you're buying second hand items the rule is usually willing seller willing buyer so as a buyer it's very important for you to do every due diligence in terms of the mechanical condition of the car uh, the nature of the uh, paperwork uh, that is in terms of transferring the ownership to your name and so forth so uh, let me take you through some of the critical aspects uh, which you should consider when uh, buying a second-hand used car especially uh, here in Kenya so number one you must check the exterior condition of the car and by this what it means is that check that the car does not have any excessive repairs on its body uh, this is this may suggest that the car was involved uh, in an accident in terms of uh, trying to check whether the car has filler or does not have filler on its body you can do this by knocking on the body on various uh, sides or areas of a car uh, you suspect that uh, looks suspicious again there are two types of uh, checking uh, whether a car has been repaired before or not repaired so the owner or the seller will tell you if it's original paint which means from the manufacturer it has it has never been uh, uh, painted or the car is repainted and therefore you need to know the reason why it was repainted in most cases repainted cars arise from an accident so it's very rare you'll find a repainted car that has not uh, experienced any accident so that is one of the thing uh, you check the exterior condition of the car now when the, the, the other thing that you can check is that all doors bonnets and uh, boot should line up with the body so they should line up with the body when you close the bonnet the bonnet should be able to cover the engine bay without leaving any spaces in between so it should it should cover the way it's supposed to be to, to cover similar case with the doors when you close the doors they should close smoothly and there should be no any signs of areas where it is not aligned uh, to the body as demonstrated on, on on the video the other thing you can check is whether the car has any signs of electric or gas welding uh, marks and this will tell you a lot if you discover or you notice there are some areas or there are some some, some, some evidence that the car might have gone through some welding especially on the chassis you must always check on the chassis below the engine and all the way to the back of the car there are no signs of welding because it may suggest the car has been involved in an accident in the past so it's very important uh, for you to check about that the other thing you need to check is the interior condition of the car look at the seats are they worn out and if they are, they are worn out you can be able to tell the degree of the usage of the car based on its age if the seats are probably worn out and the car is newer than the way the seats uh, look that means that the car may have been doing a uh, commercial business or it's a sign of uh, misuse the other thing that you can check out is that are all the components working the way they're supposed to work that is door handles uh, windows uh, going up and down taking windows up and down and so forth all the switches must be able to work correctly all the knobs uh, that are used to close the doors must be in a good and perfect condition the other thing you can check are the side covers of the doors what 
what is the condition of the side covers? Are they worn out or are they not? So those are some of the things that you should be able to check. The other thing you can check on the interior of the car is the dashboard. You'll find out uh, because of uh, uh, exposure to sun, some dashboards will tend to crack. So if the dashboard has been placed, there is a cover, a cloth cover, or some modification have been done on the dashboard of the vehicle, you need to ask if the dashboard is cracked or just lift up the cover and check the condition. Some of them may have been glued. If it's glued, you can be certain that the dashboard is cracked. So those are some of the things you can check uh, on the interior of the car. The other thing that is very important to do is carry out a thorough mechanical check of the car. And this can be done with the help of a trusted mechanic, your own mechanic, who is someone that you can trust. Because sometimes mechanics are compromised by the sellers to approve the car. So that, uh, at, of course, at a, small, uh, at a small amount or at a small fee, and you may end up uh, being recommended a car that is, has issues, make sure you have a mechanic that you can trust and somebody who does not know about the car it will be his first time to see the car so with the help of a mechanic there are some mechanical issues that you'll be able to uh, get information about for instance make sure the car is not running when you're going to view a car if you find it running switch it off there could be a reason why the engine was kept running before you came to view the car so it all, it's always good to check a car whose engine is cold one of the advantages of that is to test whether the car has a hard start or not so make sure when you start the car does it start immediately and is the engine idling running smoothly the rev counter should rest between 800 revs and 1000 revs it should not go beyond 1000 is shown on the video how to check the rev counter if the car will have a rev counter if the car does not have a rev counter then the mechanic will be able to determine based on the idling of the car whether the engine is properly tuned or not a car with a high uh, rev speed means there could be a problem a car with a very low rev speed again means it's not uh, properly tuned or probably not uh, well serviced the other thing that is very important to check are there oil leakages around the engine bay? So you'll need to open the bonnet and have a close examination of the engine bay. So the, one of the things to check is, are there any signs of leakage? If the car was stationary for some time, just uh, check underneath the engine and see if there are any signs of droplets of oil or any fluid from the engine. It could be oil, it could, it could be steering fluid, uh, it could also be uh, gearbox fluid so any of those leakages will suggest there could be a problem with where the oil is leaking from so if it is from the engine part it means the sump may have uh, a leakage somewhere if it's on the side of the gearbox the gearbox could mean there is a problem somewhere or if it's the steering fluid it could mean that probably the steering pump uh, has a problem in the system so it's very important to check and rule out that there is no any leakage on the car again it's very important to check whether the engine has been cleaned or not a cleaned engine may be cleaned to hide specific issues an engine that is not cleaned is the best engine to check because you will be able to see where every point that oil could be leaking from. So that is another very important uh, point to note.